Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Martha and we are now in the year 2024. I've been really wanting to do a video of if I hit my goals that I set for myself of 2023. One, just to share with my little internet corner what I'm working towards, the reality of when you hit your goals and when you don't, and also to hold myself accountable so I can look back at this video, listen to myself talk about what my goals were, if I hit them, and to kind of use it as a reference point to look back at how far I've came selfishly. <laughs> 2023 was a challenging year to say the least. I had a lot of change. I had a lot of growth. Looking back at everything I did, I think I came out on top way more than I thought I had. Last year, my best friend Luda and I, we, which this feels like it just happened. It's crazy to me. I'm already filming this video. But last year, she and I went to a coffee shop. We brought a notebook, our laptop, which I have right here. I like to physically write down goals. So I just had this cutie little book. I'm a more tactile person so I just prefer being able to think about what I want to achieve put it down to a piece of paper go back physically and look at it we're gonna go through my goal list that I made for 2023 I might not share all of them because some of them are more vulnerable and personal and I don't need to share everything with the internet I want to pull out my board and see how it resonated with the year and just so you guys know it is january 17th that i'm filming this and my new year feels like it just started on monday which would have been the 15th because i was with my family in indiana we got back on new year's eve i got sick and then my dad got here it's just been busy i feel like now i'm finally at the point where it's like i get to focus on myself i'm thinking about what i want for this year and i don't feel guilty about doing this later in the month at all like there is no time limit. You can always change things in your life. Okay, so let's start with my list. My first goal was make a cozy home space for myself. Check. So last year when I wrote this list, I was still living with Scotty at our old house. I've always wanted an apartment on my own. Frankly, I was scared to live alone. I didn't think I would like it. I thought I would hate it. I said that for years. I love it. It's the best. My apartment is a beautiful little home. That's my cozy little safe space. I love my neighborhood. Couldn't be happier, like especially working with the budget that I have. This is exactly what works for me right now. The only thing missing is a dog. My next one was get a manager who gets you and you're able to connect with a person I did not get a manager this year. I didn't even interview with management. I don't even think I was approached by management this year, but I did hire a personal virtual assistant. She is amazing. I've talked about her in other vlogs before. She's changed things for me so much. I hired her to help me with admin tasks, just like keeping my like to know it, which is all my links updated. She creates graphics for me. She uploads all my content to Pinterest. She'll repost video if I need her to. As I've gotten older and gotten more experience, I've realized that one of the only ways to grow is hiring people to help you with shit. You can't do it all yourself. You'll get bogged down. If you have the resources, find people to help you and you'll grow so much. My next one was a goal monthly income of $10,000. This was not consistent for me. 2023 was a rough year financially. I, it felt rougher than it was. When I looked at my final income for the year, it was a lot higher. I think though what happened was the first half of the year and moving, I was in a big deficit and I came out on top without even realizing it. So it was nice for me to look back at that and remember it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I think I hit 10K a couple months out of the year, maybe even one, one or two, that's it. Going forward, I'll like do another video of my goals for the year. I would like to hit 10K per month. Who wouldn't want to? Duh. My next one was also a money goal. I'm gonna keep that one to myself. Get my hair healthy and grown out. It is so long now. And I mean, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that I am a bleaching tone. So I'm up in the salon with Barb like every five to six weeks getting my hair done. So it is healthy and she's growing. This is great for me. Other people's hair grows way quicker, but this is like insane. Let's look at a photo from like a year ago. And it's definitely gotten a lot longer. Oh, another money one. Okay, savings back to X number that I don't need to share. Let's just say I did not get there because it was a shit year, as I said, as far as money. 
uh, even though I came out on top at the end, I very much have been learning how to deal with money this year and I'm still getting used to paying all these bills by myself and just expenses, groceries, everything by yourself is so different than with roommates. Granted, Scotty and I are back together now, so like he's over a lot and we split the cost of food and everything often. I'm still working on rebuilding that savings. Invest in more places and amounts. I actually just expanded my portfolio with my stepdad. More road trips to explore California. This year, I went to Big Sur with my best friend. No, no, I went to Carmel, California with my best friend and we drove inland and a little bit on the coast we went to santa barbara i just went to laguna beach technically that was 2024 but we can count it i went to palm springs there was other travel that came up besides just california which leads me to more outdoor adventures this year free people movement took me to telluride colorado and saguaro arizona that was amazing and so cool so i'm incredibly grateful for that give therapy a try i i did not get there still I know I need to. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of it. I think I'm just lazy and I haven't signed up for it. I lost my sister like five and a half years ago. That's the main reason why I would want to get into it. it uh, that traumatic experience led to some other struggle in my life and also just romantic relationships and becoming an adult. I think I could definitely benefit from therapy. So we still need to do that. Be interviewed on a podcast. I was not interviewed on a podcast this year. I originally, wanted to have my own podcast a few years ago. I felt really gung-ho about that. Now, I I don't know. I don't know if it's something I'd wanna do. I don't know if I'd wanna do it solo. I feel like it's more fun to have banter with a partner. Uh, like partner meaning a friend, business partner, whatever. I mean, I would love to be interviewed on a podcast. I just need to have a, a few friends that have one and probably grow my page more so we have like a specific topic to talk about. I put confidence on here with a big heart. My confidence has definitely improved in the last year, but it took a fat hit the first half of the year. It took a fat hit. I had some of the shittiest days I've ever had. I need to do some TikTok get ready with me's about them because I had some shit days. Like falling apart shit days. You get better with hard days and I definitely saw my confidence improve going through struggle. Also just like living on your own and having no one else to help you take care of yourself or your house, get you places like literally everything has really embedded a sense of confidence within myself yes we're gonna check that one off the list confidence has been improved with that yes get a pug i literally put this on my list every single fucking year i'm about to be 30 this year and i still don't have a pug i don't know why i think it's really been a money thing i want to make sure that like i can give my pug the best life and he's so happy and i can get a good pug from a good breeder i want a puppy so i don't know I would adopt one after I get a puppy, but I definitely like want like my own baby first to raise. So, I mean, god damn, this better be the year of the pug. Cultivate and care to friendships. My best friend and I hung out a lot this year. We got a lot of good time together. I feel like I got closer to a lot of friends this year. I also was by myself a lot and I spent a lot of time cultivating my relationship with myself, which I mean, you could count that as a friendship. This next one, I had Meet Mari Llewellyn because I missed an opportunity. We were at an event together and I passed her. She had just followed me on Instagram and I got too nervous to say hi. I think she's so cool. She's so successful. She's so smart. We both have similar interests. I was definitely trying to manifest bringing her back in my life because of that missed chance I had of meeting her. That's on me. I take responsibility for that, so... When I looked back at this list, I thought it was so funny. I put that on here. Next, I had some goals for my social media growth. I did not hit these. Instagram, I've actually lost followers recently. To be blunt, like I'm just realizing this comes with the job and the people that care about my content will stay and the people that don't, like we don't need them. I'm always trying to grow my page. It can definitely be disheartening to lose followers. I wanted to get to 60K. I always try to set lofty goals because Scotty, has always told me like if you set your goal at something that's too attainable you don't really push yourself so setting it higher you have a higher chance of reaching that goal even though you may not reach that goal you set you will get like 
higher than what you would have set your attainable goal to be. So I said 60K on Instagram, which is definitely doable. I'm at like 30K and I wanted to grow my YouTube to 5K. I hit a thousand, over a thousand. So happy about that. TikTok to 25K. I did not put effort into TikTok this year. I feel like I just started putting effort into TikTok in the last like three months. So honestly, I don't feel too bad about that one. Less planned content and more fun real content was another one. 2023 was the year of sharing more home content, more everyday lifestyle content, everyday like, oh, I'm not dressed to the nines content. And I love that. I want to keep it going. It feels more authentic to me. Most of the time I'm in my workout clothes lately, going to the gym, which is why you're seeing fitness content from me. Next on the list was get back into beauty videos. I've been doing a lot of lip liner videos and makeup here and there. I know you guys like it and I should share more of it, so. But I need like tips, like I wanna know what you guys wanna see kind of because sometimes I feel like they're the same, but maybe they're good that they're the same. Okay, this is kind of a quote in a way. I, I don't know where I got this from, but I wrote let go and let things flow. In the past, I could get easily anxious about things not being a certain way or wondering how things are gonna end up, maybe like a little bit obsessive, nothing ever like to a crazy extreme, but it would happen here and there. I think this is one I'm still learning. I'm pretty good at it, but sometimes I can get, I catch myself getting flustered at something silly. Okay, get comfortable being alone, check. And then manifest the love and relationship you really want. <laughs> <laughs> that I definitely did. I didn't talk much about my relationship with Mr. Scotty Man on here because that shit's personal and I don't feel the need to explain myself to people on it and I don't need people in my business and I feel comfortable sharing the things that I share. And beyond that, if you send me a DM and ask me about it, I'll like talk to people sometimes, but it's not something that I just need to blab all over the place. But we are really good and I'm very happy with where we're at. So I would say check on manifesting the love and relationship you really want. Next, I put build more muscle and eat more protein. Check, completed 75 hard in 2023. I have put on a lot of muscle. I've been consistently eating meat, chicken, turkey. If you watch my other videos, you know I used to not, but it's been like a year and a half, two years now that I have been eating meat, so I've been bulking up. Last thing I wrote down was go to the doctor and the dentist, and I did that, check. Okay, that's all I had written down. We're gonna look at my board next, but it is so satisfying to look through goals you've set for yourself and see that you actually did them. I feel like I could make like a journal entry and write little points of how I completed those things and how it feels to have them done. But also in this video now, I'm like kind of reflecting on it, but only to an extent. I would highly recommend setting goals for yourself. Let's look at my little vision board next. Luna and I, like I said, we did our vision boards last year and we're gonna do them again this year this board is kind of reflective of everything that i just shared with you on my list but it's fun to see it visually you can kind of see the like romancy things on here that i added and i love Haley and justin i think their relationship is so sweet i've got another like relationship one over on this side and i just really wanted to manifest like nurture and care and understanding in a relationship. Now that I'm older, just having like an adult relationship is so important to me. I've realized that relationships are really about just making a choice to be with someone and committing to it. And no one's perfect. I was just listening to Peyton Sarton and she was talking about how there's no perfect partner. That's something I really resonate with lately and social media glorifies people and things and relationships and it being on the creator side, knowing how everything is created, really opens your eyes to the reality of just like creating content and everyone's relationship is different. And I have what I want right now. So I think it was manifested with the board and bringing my dreams to life. Home photos on here. And you can clearly see my styles like Scandi, minimal, pops of color, elevated. I feel like I'm still working on that a little bit in here. Uh, just because home stuff is costly and thrifting in LA is tricky. I definitely have made a fabulous home for myself, but it's not completely done, but it looks great in here and I love it. And it does feel like a reflection of these photos very much. The blonde long hair, there we go, self-reflecting, being confident. These are all qualities I embodied in 2023. They're qualities I want to carry into the next year as well. The pug, I need my pug. A muscular build, I'm obsessed with her. 
can't think of her name right now, but she's so good. Reading was one. I definitely read a lot more. 75 Hard helped me get into the habit of reading. Read probably every other day. I. It depends on the book I'm reading, like how good I am at it in the moment. And I included like the photo of the girls and then the swimming pool and the beach because I really wanted to manifest more travel. And while I didn't go on any trips that were just like planned for fun, just like pure planning, like pure I want to go on a girls trip, I went on a few bachelorette parties and then I went on my free people movement trips. And those were work, even though they're so fucking fun. So we manifested the travel, but we didn't really manifest like the leisurely travel yet. And that is something I would love to bring in for 2024 and 2025, which sounds crazy. So we're working on that. Podcast interview, make a home. Then there's my little 60K thing for Instagram at the top. Still working on that and still working on my income goal. So yeah, okay. That is it for my 2023 goals and if I hit them or not. I've been reflecting a lot on this recently, so it's really cool to physically look at everything and see if I've hit it or not. Moving into the new year, I hope you guys take the time to set some goals for yourself, decide what you really want for the year. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and this entire video. I'm so excited to do more YouTube this year. Trying to just lean into YouTube. Cannot believe that it's already 2024. Mm -hmm.